Hey everybody, Mountain Grandma here. Thanks for coming by my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the part three video of the aloe series where I showed you how I grew this guy, best way to grow an aloe, things to watch for, um, how I harvested the leaves. As you can see, he's got some new growth coming in since I did the other video and he's looking great. So um, I'm going to share with you how you can use the aloe that you harvest to make a fruit smoothie and also share with you how you can use the aloe to add as an additive to soap products. So let's go ahead and get started. I've put one of those little baggies of aloe into this little blender and blended it up. Um, I will just be using a portion of this in the soap that I'm making and then I'll use the rest of it for a smoothie. Here in this blender, I have about two tablespoons of aloe and I've also got some chunks of mango that I had saved in the freezer and some pineapple and some ice. So that's what we'll be making our smoothie with. As a reminder, why do you want to put this in your smoothie? Because it's good for you. Here's the benefits I shared from video two. Now let's talk about how I'm going to make this soap. And I'm going to do this the easy way with melt and pour soap. So if anybody ever wanted to make soap and didn't want to use lye, try the melt and pour. Here we go, guys. Just another little chunk of soap here that we're waiting on to melt. And once this is melted, I can start making soap with it. Well, it's already soaked, but you know, I can do what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so as you can see, our soap has melted well, and now I'm going to let it cool just a little bit, and then I'll be adding some ingredients, and I'll share that with you. So as you can see, we've got 450 milliliters of soap. I will be using that to determine how much of the other ingredients I'll be using. Okay, so I wanted to make lemonade soap. I love the smell of lemons in the summer. So I added in about, I like to do about 3% on um, fragrance and essential oil blends just because I don't like it super strong. So that was about 13.5 milliliters of this essential oil fragrance blend. And I also added in some yellow um, coloring just to kind of brighten it up. And then I put in one tablespoon of aloe. As you can see, I used a taller mold so that the soap resembled a drink and added in some cube-shaped white soap to look like ice, and voila, here's my lemonade soap. And don't forget, you can use this aloe straight on your skin. Why? Because it's good for you. As a reminder from video two, here's the benefits to topical use of aloe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, remember everyone and everything we do, even though it's tough, try to keep your joy, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.